Hello and welcome, Paulie here, and I am playing Minecraft. This is a new world after the latest Caves and Cliffs Part 2 updates. I am using the Bedrock Edition, which is on Windows Store, and I'm using the John Smith Legacy Resource Pack, which is RTX compatible, so you will see the shader effect in play. Let's get to it. First things first is, I love this latest update, these caves. That is a sight to behold. So we're going to do some stuff with that. I need to have a look around and see what we got. Oh, this might be one of the new flower biomes. I'm not really sure what its name is, but... <laughs> Flowers as far as the eye can see. We got some snow over that direction. Let me just uh, do a loop around the peak of this mountain. So we got snow over here, which is cool. Because I would like to do some wintry themed builds. We've got... Oh, we've got a village down here. Of a little cave, better watch my step. Oh, all the water's frozen. My draw distance isn't set too high purely because of performance issues since I'm using RTX or ray tracing, but it's far enough for me to see what I'm doing immediately, so that's the important thing. It's a odd biome. I don't see any too many trees or anything like that. Oh, another village. Okay, well, let's get started. We need to uh, survive the first night, but it should be easy since we have a village right here. Can I get down? Okay. First things first, let's grab some wood. We'll make some tools and figure out a plan. I forget that uh, trees now drop branches. So I have been out of Minecraft for a long time, so a lot of this is new to me. A lot of uh, reacquainting myself with the game. Head out with me just in case. So we have a village here. So I'll be able to sleep in beds, skip nights, all that good stuff. We've got furnaces. Repair and disenchant. Okay, that's new. Ooh, iron leggings. Iron pickaxe. That's a good find. And we got some iron ingots. Very good. Okay. There are a lot of holes and I'm going to have to watch out and make sure I don't fall down. Let's have another look around see if we can find any more chests. We've got a stone cutter there. Oh. Oh, wait. Oh. Oh no, it was a villager. Okay, yeah, so that's a problem. Like, what do I... Oh no. Don't come round here, little one. <laughs> Not a good sight for you. But there are mushrooms in there. So I, I think I need to... Seal this up, maybe rebuild the floor here just to make it safe. Last thing we want is more villagers going down. But as long as there's room, the villagers will keep breeding and all that good stuff. Yeah, you don't want to be down there, mate. Oh, is he stuck? Oh no. Okay, that's a problem. This way, friend. Friend? Friend? 
Where'd he go? Well, I'm afraid if he's gone into the darkness there, I'm not going after him. <laughs> Kids do look funny in this. Okay, so we need coal. Um, coal over there, coal over there. Not the easiest place to get to. I feel I need to make some kind of fence or a wall just to make sure these guys don't get stuck down there. A little worrying when you see, see a zombie. There he is. Wait, that's not a zombie. That is a... A witch. Or a wizard. Or a warlock. Or a sorcerer. Or a mage. Am I gonna die here? Oh. Barely survived. Oh wait, no, it's gonna keep me at half. This is bad. We need to find a house to sleep in. There we go. I was not expecting that uh, guy to pop out the window. <laughs> Ooh, experience. Don't fall in here. <laughs> so I'm basically just trying to make everywhere safe. Since we're right underneath a village at the moment. And there's so many ways that the enemies can come out the ground here. Oh wow. I think this is the uh, the big cavern I was seeing from up above. Oh, we got lava here. Wow, look at this. I'm going to be very careful as I make my way through here. It's a big area to uh, deal with. Oh, wow. Is that water not flowing? <laughs> but look at that. Oh, the water is flowing, it's just the texture from a distance makes it look like it's still. This is beautiful. And I just can't get over this is all water. How deep is this? Pretty deep. The sun shaft's coming through. sucks you down that's scary I didn't never seen that before Skeleton underwater. This is incredible. So I do need to get back to the village before it goes night time. And I feel I'm closer to the surface here, so... Let's see if we can find a way out. 
Now I am out of practice in Minecraft, it's been a while. But what I do remember is I'm going to need to enchant stuff. And to enchant stuff I need the library, I need paper and all that good stuff. So I need to find myself some bamboo, which I think I've spotted some. And we need to get that growing. Perfect. So quick look, it looks like it's the ocean there, so... You know what, to speed this up, we'll go ahead. Ooh, fish. I don't remember the beam fish last time I played. At least not like that, not without mods. And as this grows, we'll just keep extending this. But for now, that will do. And that's good. And then we can just tidy this out. The random grass blocks underground, but you can't do much about it sometimes. Okay. That is set up to get up there. Kind of nice because I feel like doing all this helps with the aesthetic of the village quite a bit. Then we've got this area over here which is again not ideal. Now that is quite a height. I don't know the best way to get down from here. Unless we don't drop down this side. We could take the path back here to come down, but it just seems a bit of a faff. Going out of the way. But we can revisit that. Just trying to secure the village and make it a bit easier to navigate at the moment. With that said, we'll go ahead and block this off. need more dirt. Make sure no monsters get through. I need to get a skin as well, although I don't mind using Minecraft Steve. Can you pet cats? You gotta pet it and you end up punching it. Oh, look at that. That is cool. Oh, we got igloos. That glowing blue ice. Again, this is another village that isn't particularly flat, it's on some weird terrain. I don't know how I would fix that. So the village is definitely on the other side of this mountain. Where would I do the... tunnel? I'm just wondering how long would this take?
Hooray, we made it through. And this place still looks absolutely amazing. <laughs>